Leave it 851, turn right heading 180. In past years, I focused heavily on the future of simply Boeing and Airbus at the start of each year. However, for the new decade, I really wanted to focus on specific aircraft I feel have an incredibly interesting year to come. Ultimately, the focus is going to be in the coming days strictly on Boeing aircraft given all their interesting situations, but nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy this video. Today, we will be beginning with the Boeing NMA, dubbed to be by many as E-797. While the NMA has not officially been revealed, released, we haven't had any sort of information come through in regards to just what this particular type would offer customers in the near future. This is a type which would likely seat between 220 to 270 passengers in two available variants, those being a rumoured 797-6X and 797-7X. This is what we know as of mid last year. However, since then, news on the NMA has been missing from the industry, with the focus being strictly on the 737 MAX as expected. It would ideally be a replacement for the now ageing 757 and also some 767 variants. It would allow airlines flying these types to seamlessly transition to the brand new variant. However, there's been a few problems which have actually prevented it from being that simple that I'll be covering later on in this video. Before then though, what was Boeing's actual plans for rolling out this new variant? Well, prior to the closing of the decade and the 2019 Paris Air Show, it was actually expected by 2019 that we would have gotten a launch announcement should Boeing have gone ahead with plans. However, as you can probably imagine by now, this never occurred. This is down to a lot of reasons. We've had the 737 MAX crisis, which is seeing Boeing focus all their attention and the important business case. A parallel can be Project Sunrise with Qantas. Studying the business case is important to determine whether a project or goal can be achieved and go ahead, like an aircraft order, aircraft launch, and even something as simple as a route launch. Launching something though, like a Boeing NMA, requires a lot of studying and analysing. Analysts earlier last year predicted a whopping 4,000 total units sold for the Boeing NMA series, although that was before another type entered the fray, the A321 XLR, an aircraft at the moment that will no doubt impact the Boeing NMA in 2020. So what does the future hold for the NMA now, given Airbus recently launched their XLR and has seen the likes of United order 50, especially given United being a key airline almost pleading with Boeing to launch an NMA to replace the likes of the 757 and 767? Well, it's a tough one. With the 737 MAX still grounded, it's very unlikely that we'll get much more news on the NMA at this time. Given the success of the XLR, no doubt Boeing really needs to evaluate the business case even better, as Airbus is currently dominating that sector. The reality is, Boeing currently offers the 737 MAX, 787 and 777X, and with the 787 not necessarily being an NMA, the hope was that Boeing would launch something in the middle. That may not occur now. Last update said a decision was to be made either at the end of last year or this year. We'll have to wait and see on that front, to be honest. Boeing had wanted to launch the NMA with customers in 2025. This means that 2020 will no doubt be a decisive year for the type. And I think I can speak for all of us in saying that would more than likely welcome on a decision by year's end on whether the type is going forward. With the Farnborough Air Show coming later this year, that could be the perfect time for Boeing to announce something. What are your thoughts on the Boeing NMA's future this coming year? Let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you very much for tuning into this video of mine. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for a brand new video.